Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to show you how to find the perimeter of a polygon. And when I think of a, uh, the perimeter of a polygon, I always think about a fence. And that's why I put this picture here. So, I have a rectangle here and you can see I colored it in green. I was trying to show that is the grass. And then the length of the sides is the perimeter. So if I wanted to find the total length of all of the sides, if I was putting up a fence, what would you do? If you said that you would add up the sides, you're absolutely correct. So you'll notice I have eight feet here, three feet here, three feet here, and then I have a question mark here. Well, in fourth grade, we're working on trying to find the perimeter of polygons with missing sides. So I want you to use what you already know about polygons, rectangles, squares, triangles, to help you figure out what the perimeter is going to be. So when you have a square, you know that all four sides are equal. Well, in a rectangle, it's a little bit different because you have parallel sides, this side and this side right here, they're equal. So you can see three feet here, three feet here. So I always like to, to highlight that to kind of um, show you what I'm talking about. So this side right here is three feet. The opposite side over here is also three feet. So we have two sets of parallel lines that have equal length in a rectangle. So that means that this side right here, this is going to be equal to this side because they're opposite. So what is this missing measurement? It's eight feet. So now if I wanted to find the perimeter, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to add eight plus three plus eight plus, oops, not eight, three. So I had one, two, three, four sides. I have one, two, three, four numbers. So now I'm going to add them up. So let me make this a little bit bigger so I can see. So I'm going to put the eight and the, the eight and the three together. And I know from our number talks that if I take one of um, two from the three, that'll make that a 10. So then I take two away, that leaves me with just one. So that's 11. So eight and three over here is 11. And then I add them together and it equals 22. Well, 22 what? Is it feet, inches, centimeters? It's 22 feet. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 22 feet. All right, let's try another one. Now I have a square. Now, what do you know about squares and the lengths of their sides? If you said that all sides are correct, all right, if all sides are equal, then you're correct. So that means that this side is going to be the same size as this side, and this side is going to be the same size as this one, and this one too. So that means that all of the sides are going to be five centimeters. So this one's five, this one's five, this one's five. So I've got my equation is I've got five plus five plus oops, five, and that's three. Now I need four because I have four sides. And what does that equal? All right, so I know that five and five together is going to be 10. And this 5 and this 5 together is going to be 10. So I have my 10 plus my 10, and that equals 20. 20 what? Is it feet, centimeters, inches? Well, it's 20 centimeters. So that is the perimeter of this square. All right, let's try another one. This one is a straight. So here we have a triangle. We've got all three sides, and we want to add them up. So what's the equation going to be? We're going to do 7 plus 5 plus 4. So I check I've got three numbers, I've got three sides. All right, so I know that 7 and 5 is 12, and then I add my 4, 
So then I've got a total of 16. Is it centimeters, inches, feet? It's centimeters. So the perimeter is 16 centimeters. All right, now we're going to get into um, some shapes where there are missing numbers. And we're going to use what we know about rectangles and squares to help us figure out the missing sides. So we know that the perimeter is if we added up all of the sides. But if you notice, up oh, this side right here, it's missing a number. So in order to help me figure out what that missing side is, I'm going to have to look at the opposite side. So this is the opposite side here. And I'm going to try and color coat these so you can see the way that I'm explaining this. Now I want you to imagine, and I'm going to put this line in as a gray color so that it's it's there but it's not really there. We have a little square here and um, then a larger rectangle. So if you look at this, this opposite side here, this part right here, let me um, go over this again just so you can see. This side right here is equal to this side right here. And I guess I should make that bigger so it stands out a little bit more. All right, so this side equals this side. So that tells me that this part right here of this rectangle is going to be 5 centimeters. And I'm going to make that blue so that it's a uh, different color so it's easier to see. So this part right here is 5 centimeters. And that means that this part right here, if the total is 10, because the total is 10 centimeters, this other part right here, has to be 5 as well and I want that to be in blue again because 5 plus 5 equals 10 so this one's 5 this parts 5 the total is 10 so if this one's 5 that tells me that this other side has to be 5 centimeters now I can go ahead and figure out the perimeter because now I have all the sides so I used what I knew about rectangles um, and squares to help me figure that out all right, so um, I also just want to point out to you that with the opposite side thing, look how it works out here. This one's 3, this one's 6, so 3 plus 6 equals 9. All right, so now we've got to figure out our total perimeter. So these numbers I'm going to kind of set to the side. We use them to help us figure out this missing side but we don't want to add in two extra fives so each time I'm gonna write um, I'm gonna check off which number we've used so we're gonna do three I've done that one plus five let me cross that one off plus six cross that one off plus five plus 9, cross that one off, plus 10. All right, so let's see. I had 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. Let's make sure I have 6 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. Okay, so I have all my numbers. So remember, we've been working on trying to get groups of 10. So immediately, my eyes are drawn to this 5 and this 5 right here. Because I know that's 10. And I, then I have this 10 right here. So now I still have a 9, a 6, and a 3 to add. So I know that I've got these two 10s right here. That's going to be 20. And then I've got my 6 and my 3, which is a 9, and then I have another 9 here. So 9 plus 9 is 18. So now I have my 18 plus my 20 equals 38. So the perimeter is 38 centimeters. 38 centimeters. All right, let's try another one. There's lots of missing numbers here. Okay, so we're going to use opposite sides. Let me get the highlighter out. All right, so we've got a 12 here. 
So the opposite sides are going to be here, here, and here. Now I know that this total side is 12, so that tells me that this side plus this side plus this side has to equal 12. So if this is 4, this is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So what, how far is 8 from 12? Well, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's 4. So this, whoops, let me change my pen. This side right here has to be 4 centimeters. So now let's use that knowledge to help us get the other side. So this one is 10. So this is opposite. That's the same size. So if this one's 10, that means this one is also 10. And now we just got to figure out this mix, missing one right here. So let's look at opposite sides here. Let me get my highlighter back. All right, let's go for blue this time. So I've got this side and this side. They're opposite sides. So if this one's 3, that means that this one has to be 3. So now I have all my sides. I have 12 plus 10. Let me cross them off because I've used them. 12 plus 10 plus 4 plus 3 plus another 4 plus another 3 plus another 4 plus 10. All right, so now I'm going to add them up. All right, so let's do 10 and 12 together. It's going to be 22. And then I've got 4 and 3, which is 7. Another 4 and 3 is another 7. And then I've got my 4 and my 10 is 14. So now I'm going to add these up. Okay, so I've got 7 and 7, that's 14. Plus another 14 here. Whoops, make that 4. Yeah, bring that over. And then I've got my 22. So I know that 14 and 14, 14 doubled is 28. So then I bring down my 22 again. 22 plus 28. All right, well, the 2 and the 8 is a 10. And then the 2 right here is a 20 plus another 20. That's going to be 40. So 40 plus 10 equals 50. Is it 50 inches, 50 feet, 50 centimeters? 50 centimeters. All right, so the perimeter of this shape is 50 centimeters. Now it's your turn. Let me slide this up so you guys can get a good view. So all these practice problems, you've got five of them. Um, you're going to type your answer into the Google form. Make sure you say whether it's centimeters, meters, um, number two's, number, excuse me, number three is the only one that's actually in meters. We've got one, two, three straight up where every side is counted for. Four and five are a little bit tricky because I want you to use the opposite sides to help you. Okay, good luck.